we doing? Dial in the focus this time, boys and girls. Woo! <laughs> All right, good morning and welcome back. I believe this is the third installment of your boy reviewing your other boy's snowboard videos. And I got hundreds of them right now. So first of all, they're not in order. If you sent me a clip and you haven't seen it yet, it could be in here somewhere. I'm doing about five to six minutes of video time each video, if that makes any sense. But I got six minutes of your guys' clips in the timeline right now that we're about to review. We're stoking. It is little after six o'clock. I'm on this crazy surf schedule and there is no ocean hundred miles away from me but that's okay because we're grinding we're on it early and we're starting this thing off one thing i gotta say before we jump into this is brah <laughs> your first clip actually i think this homie shut down the last video here we go right off the rip you love to see that big old back rodeo 7 nose grab i actually don't have back rodeo sevens, which I should work on and get those dialed because as you can see, it's one of the best looking tricks in the game. Oh, we gotta mute this one. Oh, oh, what happened? It's over. Well, we can only assume homie got smoked. Here we go, back one, cap tray, perfect. All right, next homie. Wait a minute. First of all, where are we? First glance, it looks like a park and that looks like some type of box with a kicker that he's hitting next to the box. But then again, that could just be, I don't know, but you're gnarly for chucking a backflip right next to that. We got a booter. Oh, yes, big old gap to lip slide. The slow-mo landing, love to see it. Another booter. Yo, his boy knew. He knew you had it, he wasn't even stoked. He was stoked, but he wasn't over stoked. All right. Mm, look at the method. First of all, prop. Second of all, the swag too. Look at the pants. Um, what do you guys think? Drop some comments. What looks better? And I know each rider style is different, but method outside of the front binding or method in between the bindings? Basically, Terrier or Mike Green? Here we go. Front lip, ah, front, front tail to fakey. Love to see it. What is happening here? Is that sheep, goats? And Lenny. Lenny. Travel like Maddie. Hold on. Is that a? It's like a Kubota. It's not even a golf cart. This man's is just shredding the grass. Getting turns in. We got no excuses, people. Oh! Dude, the boys are hyping. Oh. Front, under, seven. Dude, this has kinda gotta get broken down real quick. So, with a front side under flip, 720, as you see here, he's kinda just dropping the cork seven, which makes it really hard to land because the way that that axis comes around is difficult, but very doable. I would say, if you want a little piece of advice for stomping this, is go underneath a little bit more because you're going for the flip, but then you're also going so hard cork that it makes the ratio of when you land just kind of strange. Do a little bit more of a flip. And then once you're coming around and you finish your flip, your body is going to be almost facing backwards down the hill, but not fully around to get the 360 landing in, even though it's a 720, it's that same whip as bringing your legs around to stomp the three where your legs go ahead of you and your body stays behind. So that, that way, when you push your lower body in front, you can land toe edge, lock your edge in, and then the rest of your body, 
your upper body will be behind you and when you land with your lower body and your toe edge gets locked in, you have all that time for your upper body to move around, to line back up to straight and perpendicular and then even fight past it and by the time that you get to that, it's like I was explaining in the last review video about frontside 900s where you bring that leg situation around in front and lock it in so that you could fight with your body until you get to that breaking point. That's the same exact thing. This is so dope though, brother. We're back. We got a box. Looks like Corinthia Parks. You love to see the switch up. Back nose, back tail. Big old melon grab. Let's see. Ooh. Ah. Ah. I hate to be that guy, but you gotta get it back another six inches, bro. I see you right there. Just instead of reaching down and kind of pulling your legs back, compress your whole body and bend so that your legs come up to you. And that way you're not forced to grab up by the danger zone. Crouch down nice and low and just wrench that melon, boys and girls. I'm claiming Connor Tall. Front three out? Maybe not Connor Tall, but. Oh my! <laughs> Wrote it out. His boy's laughing at him. Uh... Yes! This is what we love to see. The Stoke in the backyard or the back country. Look at the boys, dude. It's a daily move. Oh my god, you landed that. Look at the torque on the body. Boys, we all thought you were going down. Look at that. And you just floated it around. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna stomp it. Props, dude. Wow. All right, this looks sick. <gasps> Yo, did he ride that out? Kind of. That was good stuff. All right, little back nose, 50. Front one, you love to see the switch up game. There we go again. Back to, oh, look at the back three to nose press. First of all, bring that to a down bar. <laughs> all right, oh, perfect fronty. It, wow, good stuff. All right, front one, switch 50 on the flat down, flat down, flat circle. That was gnarly, Highland. Love to see it. Mmm. Creamy little front three with just really, you hate to see that skier half, doesn't matter if skier or snowboarder, just, you just hate to see him half to, to be speeding through the park next to the feature while the boys are hitting it. If you have anybody in your family, any friends that you see doing that kind of thing, just tell them. There are trails for riding. There's no reason to be nuking next to your boy while he's trying to front three out. What happens if he lands a little edge heavy and wants to carve to the right? The last thing we need is to be getting into a dangerous situation by colliding with each other when we're already working on tricks in the park here. Mount snow? No. Oh, a little front lip. Come off a little early. Oh, we'll count it. I like it. Oh, you switch up the bindings too. Big old booter. Let's go. First of all, I love to see that you just kind of let the kicker do the thing. You didn't pop, you didn't, you know what I mean? But this kicker seems like it's pretty steep and poppy. So that's why your little back seat. I like to think about it as going up, flat, and down into the transition. So you did the perfect thing with the kicker right there. Maybe just lean forwards with your upper body, or you can even grab nose if you start to get back seat like that wrench on it and pull yourself so that you change your angle to land down the landing. That was good though, dude. Huge booter. Oh, 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 what happened? What happened? Proper front board. I mean, you kind of pivoted into it, but the grease and the drip on the, on the exit. Why do we stop filming? Can we do, we're gonna do a little, a mid review breakdown video situation right now about the best clips that you guys can send me. I love all of the clips that you guys give me, but for the best format, and for the best format for posting for yourselves or anything, number one, don't stop recording. You can always cut a clip shorter 
but you can never get more of a clip. So just keep that thing running, especially because you don't know if your boy's gonna bail or whatnot, but press record a couple seconds prior to the drop and then press stop record a couple seconds after the whole situation is guaranteed diffused. Second, if you're gonna send clips to me, please don't have any music in them because then I have to mute it and then it just kind of looks weird because it's a one muted clip, but I can't use songs that are copywritten or I get strikes against my channel. Number three, don't do the super, super, super slow-mo. I know that sometimes iPhones just record like that anyways, but there's a nice portion of every trick. And I like to think of it as like the peak of the trick. So if you're doing a spin or if you're doing a grab, it's the climax of your air. It's the, the major part of the poke of the grab, just the dead center of the trick, the part of the trick that just looks the best. That's what you want to be slow-moed. And I would never go less than 20% if it's absolutely a banger, but even then it's gotta be a short period. Oh, short period swell. Looking for long period intervals too. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, just the, the main portion. You don't want a slow-mo. By the time you're coming in so slow to the takeoff, if I'm two, three seconds in, not in this video, cause obviously I'll edit it, but if I'm watching somebody else's video, two, three seconds in, to the kicker, slow-mo, I don't know what's going on, I'm, I'm bailing out. You just, you gotta get right to the point. Within two, three seconds, you gotta be doing your trick. And yeah, other than that, those are just a couple, three mid-video breakdown tips about how to send me the best clips. No crazy slow-mo, no music, and make sure you keep on filming. All right, we're back in the game, and this one's muted, like I was saying, because there was probably some, some tracks over it. Look at this park setup. You love to see the three line. Killing it, bro. All right, we got O. Yes. Yes. Oh, that almost looked like that same jump from earlier. Here we go. Another back one. Perfect cap three. Oh. Oh, oh shit, the phone back nose off. pretzel. That was proper. That's like one of my favorite tricks, honestly. Rainbow rail, front lip pretzels. Oh, one more quick tip too. Vertical is for stories on Instagram and horizontal is for capturing everything. You can always crop it after, but if you go horizontal, you're dreaming. That's a huge one. Tip number four, film horizontal. But if you can see deep in the background, there is a backflip. <laughs> and his boy was hyping. You'd love to see it. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. Dude, I have had that same exact situation happen to me when I started doing doubles to where you chuck it and you just end up grabbing your body and staying balled up, which is nice because that's what's gonna get you around. But you start to sometimes pivot a little bit and your axis starts to turn and that is the craziest thing ever. But you're a complete legend right here and your tilt of your board with your ankles and your feet makes it so that you legitimately landed 90 degrees on a giant double backflip and pivoted around. That's what I love about snowboarding versus skateboarding. Um, unfortunately, it cuts out. We can't really tell what happens next. I'm sure you just kind of slid out, but my biggest tip for that is when you go off, sometimes I start to spin because I'll go off my heels and I won't really be locked in and I'll pre-spin a little and that sets your line off to the left and then you start to turn or you fight it and it's the opposite and you go backside. Just try to keep your toe edge locked in with like three to 5% angle, just enough to keep you locked into when you go off the kicker, your board is straight at zero degrees and you can stay on axis the whole time. That was sick. Oh, the boys are murdering it right now. That was a crazy toe edge locked in straight backy. No advice for you except for you should work on, look at the takeoff right here. If you just dip your back shoulder and kind of spin front side a little bit with that same toe edge locked in, you have front side 540 rodeos dialed. Oh, mount snow. You love to see that rail, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God. Look at your setup, you're a beast. That is brutal though, dude. Throw a helmet on, my guy. What are you doing? Here we go, 50, 50, look at that. Where are we? You're in paradise.
Front three mute, nothing to say. Front three out, nothing to say. Big old front three. Oh! Ew. Ew. That's how you lay out a front flip. And that's how you pull it around like a gangster. Wow. Yes. All right. Look at the landscape on her. Where are we? All right, from the top. Look at this feature. Oh! Come on! Yes for one, and no for two. Look at this. Skier on the right, hits the right feature. Never looks over, cuts across to the left, and then side kickers. Oh. Meanwhile, my man's is putting down the heat. Shouldn't have to be dealing with this near him. Obviously doesn't affect him. Front one, swivel, switch 50, through more than an S. Switch back tray out. Wait, what? We really do love to see that. I'm not gonna lie, we really do. Everything about that was sick, dude. Oh my God, you're going too big. See what I mean? You can't be cutting that out. What happened? We need to know what happened. Bro, you laid that thing out. <laughs> we would love to have known what happened. Nice little melon, I hope. One more time. You know what, you're, you're good. Ah, you started good. Might have slipped off a little, little Sean White with the boot at the end there. I love to see it though, I'm not gonna lie. Just be aware. You can do no grab zones. Forget what anybody says, obviously. It's all about having fun, doing you. But as long as you know that you're working on getting your hand in the right position, you're 95% there, my G. Check two, two check speeds. Oh, oh. You guys are murdering it. This is a heavy one. It looks like goofy back nine. So that was either back nine or switch back nine. Uh. Oh gosh, I'd love to see it. All right. Woo! <laughs> the overstoke. That's the definition of overstoke. All right, here we go. Is this a skier on the C vlogs? Ladies and gentlemen, yes it is. Because we do not give up. <laughs> we ain't judging. And this little booter is sick. A little front three, left three. Is that what you call it? All right, we're at Keystone. Big homie again. Look at the perfection on the back lip. You love how you brought it to tail on that last one. Oh, we got skier follow cam. Oh, oh my gosh, homie, down. Oh, you should have just hit that box, bro. Clips the edge. Heel edge off the side into dirt. Is that dirt? He's in the dirt. Are you okay? I mean, he's sending me the clip. He's gotta be okay. We gotta be careful, boys. Wow. Here we go. Oh my God, our man's is on one. This is that same G. 50, so yeah, I think he's regular. Cab two to the DFD at Kitestonhorn. Cab two front board switch up, bring that. Wow. And then switch back nose pretzel? Who is this guy? Dude, you're a complete legend. Oh my gosh, massive back five. That's what we're looking for. High speed, front five out. Wow, you guys are killing it today. All right, where are we at, boys and girls, comment section. Oh! First of all, we're at Big Snow in New Jersey, and that swivel around in the beginning has got me thinking this is switch. Oh! Right off the corrugated, puts it down. Yep, swivels back around. That was a switch backy. Throws a back three at the end. You know what? That's how we wrap up today's video. Look at the side jib. Did Big Snow get way better since the last time I was there? All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, you guys crushed it today. That was so fun. Um, I love making these videos. 
I love watching you guys rip. If you're interested in sending me any clips, like I said, the four biggest things you could do is no music, no slow-mo, keep filming before and after the trick is done, extra time, and record horizontally. Those are your four tips. We're getting good clips today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. All I'm asking, drop a thumbs up. We're giving out as much free content as we can. Shout out to all the sponsors. We got the links below to anything you guys need this summer to hook yourselves up. A lot of good recovery stuff and just big shout out to everybody from Guayaki, Outside TV, Burn Helmets, Candy Grind, Nanocraft, you name it. It's all below. We're trying to hook you guys up so that you guys can get overstoked on the dopest gear ever. And yeah, drop some comments. Let me know what you think of these videos. Send some over to Instagram at Casey Willax or my email, caseywillaxcvlogs at gmail.com. And we're gonna keep these videos pumping out. Hope you guys are stoked. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next mañana.